To demonstrate the Omniscope's 2 to 1 spin ratio, we will focus our attention on mass, A. Notice that this side is labeled A1. The opposing side is labeled A2. As we send it into rotation, we will see that after one revolution or 360 degrees, mass cluster A has not returned to its original position, but has only completed half of its cycle. One more rotation of 360 degrees, and mass A returns to its original position. In understanding the operation of the omniscope, one must observe that whenever the masses pass at the uppermost point, its radius to the axis of rotation is larger than its opposite counterpart in the lower hemisphere, where its radial distance to the axis of rotation has decreased. Therefore, continuously and fluently, the radius of each mass changes reaching its maximum at the uppermost position and minimum at its lowermost position. The difference in radius creating the difference in centrifugal force.